Welcome back to the channel and our Renault Master camper van conversion. In this video, I'll be sorting out the inside of the sliding door, getting it sound deadened, insulated, ply lined and carpeted. Let's get on with it. If you haven't seen, in a previous video, we swapped the sliding door on our Renault Master for one in slightly better condition. Don't worry, we're spraying the van so the colour doesn't actually matter. It took us a while to find the door at a decent price and in reasonable condition, so we ended up replacing the door with the interior not far from being finished. So I needed to get the inside of this door up to scratch. I saved some of the sound deadening and the insulation from the start of the build and fitted this into the door. Then there was a couple of areas where the ribs in the door had come loose from the outer panel, meaning that it was a bit wobbly on the outside. So I bonded this back using some flexi adhesive, which actually came loose after opening and shutting the door a few times. So I put some expanding foam in here to act as a cushion to stop the panel moving. The old door actually came with a piece of foam to do this exact same job but the new one didn't, so I basically replaced it with the expanding foam. With that done, it was time to get the ply lining done. Luckily this door came ply lined and it was in really good condition. So I reused this piece to line above the window area. Obviously this door didn't have a window fitted when we bought it. We fitted that in a previous window. So the plywood needed modifying for the window. I basically cut the top section out of this and rounded the edges. Then this was fitted onto the door with some screws and as you can see the window hasn't actually been fitted at this point but it'll suddenly appear in the next clip. If you want to see the process of that being fitted make sure you check that video out on the channel. The lower part of the door came with the original plastic cover, so that was fitted back into place ready for carpeting. The door's gonna be carpeted with some U-trim glued to the perimeter to tuck the carpet into. I've just cut out this extra piece of this plastic trim because this door when we got it 
was missing this little piece here. This is all getting carpeted, but obviously if I carpet over this, you're gonna you're gonna feel the line here and you're gonna see the shape. So just cut that little piece out. Stick that in place there. Put like a little line of silicon or something over the gap. And then when it's all carpeted over, it'll be nice and flush. And then the, car the carpet's gonna tuck into these trims. All the way up the edge, all the way up the edge. Tucked in here, all the way around, all the way around into there. And then back, tucked into the trim. We carpeted this door in two separate pieces. The first piece from the plastic cover down and the second piece from the plastic cover up. This just meant that the join could be tucked into that plastic trim and hidden away. The four-way stretch carpet is fairly easy to use. It's just applied with some spray adhesive and it can be reworked if it's not in the correct position. Any of the metal parts that's visible on the inner door is gonna be painted along with the door jams when we spray the van. And there we have it, nice and neat, and a much nicer looking sliding door than at the start of the video. In the next van build video, I'm going to be carpeting the back doors, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and I'll see you in the next one.